God of War Ragnarok, a game that has a drunk fat man and a guy that can't be touched. Now, I know what you're thinking, what does this have to do with the challenge? Well, that guy who can't be touched is gonna be touched all over with my knuckles. What? And that big fat man is gonna get the same to his face. <laughs> now, the rules are pretty simple for this challenge. I'm only allowed to use my fists, but with a trace, I'm gonna be using stuff like his parry and his back dodge because why not? Now, sit back, grab your popcorn, because we're going through a journey on God of War Ragnarok. Now, we're faced with choosing the difficulty. So if you've seen my previous videos, you might think you know what I'm going to choose. But I got something to say. I'm doing this on the hardest difficulty because who needs a healthy mental state, right? Now the game starts off in a cave and not so soon later my boy walked in. Now he just started talking about the weather so we ended up leaving because really, the weather. And on our way home we got attacked by Freya. Now you might think I was holding back but that was definitely not the case. I hit her really hard and I think I might have put too much force into that because I made her cry. Now when we got home, I was really tired so I just went to sleep. Now I woke up standing and next to my dead wife, so I guess we could say this is the most normal night of my week. Now I walked around the forest with her for a little bit until it led me to waking up for real this time, and I looked around and noticed something was off. My little burden, uh, I mean, my little boy was gone. Ignore the first thing I said. And then I was off. Now in our search for a trace, we found many things, and one of them is some fun. So during this fight, I did notice that I'm really going to regret putting this one on the hardest difficulty because these guys took forever to kill. And they would keep healing by upping their level, so that also made this a pain. Now I fought many people in my search for Atreus, and I still couldn't seem to find him. So right when I was about to give up, I was attacked by a bear. So when I was fighting this thing, I noticed two things that are completely related. One, this guy does insane amount of damage since this is on the hardest difficulty. And two, that I was constantly moments away from Pea Pant City. Now, I managed to feed this thing a nice homemade combo sandwich, and then proceeded to strangle it to death. And surprise surprise, it turned out it was Atreus. And he's a furry. Hey yo, what the f And so with that, we started going home. Now, on our way back, we came across multiple enemies, and I gotta say, these guys were pretty fun to fight. Now, after finishing up with those guys, we went home, and finally got a good night's sleep. Okay, that's it, you're gonna die. Oh, it's Thor. Now, we talked for a bit, but I think this is the most important thing that happened. Yeah, so since he didn't like that, we're fighting now. I fought him for a while, and he was pretty easy, so there's not really anything noteworthy that happened. Oh, wait, actually, there is this that happened. You're fucking hopeless! No. Yeah, so it didn't look like Kratos like that. Now, I went home and talked to Atreus about why he's been doing what he's doing, and he told me that he wasn't a furry, but he can actually turn into animals. I thought that was pretty cool, so I gathered my things, and we left to a mural that he found. Now, during this very small side journey, we came across a lot of enemies, and all of them were pretty easy. Until, I came across these two enemies. Now, these guys would kill me repeatedly, and it seems like I couldn't get past them. How? How did they think that was okay to even put it in the game? The trash! Fix the game! It sucks! Blame the shit! So, just to show you how many times I died during this fight, here's a little montage. So when I finally beat him, I was very happy, so we started climbing a wall, and guess what? We got shot and dragged into the same arena, to find an aggressive Bambi who would kill me dozens of times. But at least I killed it. Now we climbed the wall and went through a couple of things that required I use my axe and blades, and then we went into the mural. So the mural described people like Tyr being involved in Ragnarok, and other stuff like that, which was pretty cool. So we went home, met up with Sindri, and went to a new realm. Now, this place is awesome because now I can get mentally tortured by a new type of enemy, but that won't happen yet because these guys f***ing suck. So after a boat ride, we came across the enemies that most likely will torment us later on, and it was these things. Don't look at me, I don't know their names. Now, these guys were pretty easy as well, but that's only because these guys are at the very beginning of the game right now. But I can see that ugly face being a problem later on. Now, after a couple of boat rides and some maneuvering through the realm's terrain, we met our second mini-boss. Okay, so the strategy I used for this guy was just to parry and keep counter-attacking, because that's pretty much all I'm able to do. And I died a couple of times, but I still managed to get past this fight. Now, right after that, we ran a little bit, and I ended up getting mad at Atreus for being an idiot. Wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. You Atreus. So after that we went on a ride in a tiny cart, and we got attacked by a bunch of those lizard guys. 
Now this doesn't count as a fight because I'm just mashing the buttons and watching. So when we were done with that, I went to help Atreus, but then I got attacked by God of War's most hated enemy. Oh, well, that was easy. Now, we were thrown headfirst into our next fight. This fight was awful to do, since I would have guys shooting at me along with another guy lunging himself at me. It was just horrible. But, just like everything else so far, I beat it. So after that, I beat the crap out of these little guys and had Trey shoot some things, and then I went into a tunnel. Now, we ran around for a little bit until we came across this thing. Now, this thing would basically take those little turds and fling them at me while charging with unblockable attacks. Now, I'd be lying if I told you guys that at this point of the game didn't already break me and make me want to smash everything in sight. But don't worry, it'll break me further later on. Oh yeah, I beat this thing after dying tons of times. Now, after many more fights that made me go ballistic, I found Tyr. Now, he was absolutely terrified of me, and that made me angry. So I picked him up, and told him that he's a coward. Why are you bullying me? So that seemed to lift his spirits for some reason, so he stood up and went on a journey with us. Okay, so since Atreus never really acknowledges what Kratos did in the last game, we had this little moment. Now, not so long after freeing Tyr, we were attacked by Asgard's most powerful force. One guy. Now, we head home, and when we got there, I went to my room to talk to Mimir. I told him that I don't get why Atreus simps for Tyr so much, and I also don't understand why his face looks so weird. And right at that moment, we swapped over to Atreus. Now, I was totally expecting this part of the challenge to be a living hell, but it was actually quite nice. Now, we fought lots of enemies, and then we ended up talking to the World Serpent. He told me about a place called Ironwood, and then he left. I was confused. So I went to talk to Freya about it. So I climbed a lot of things, and then I finally found Freya. I told her that I'm a giant, and that together we can beat Odin. She told me to f*** off. Now, disappointed by her response, I went home and said to myself that if anybody asked where I was, I would tell the truth. Atreus, where have you been? P? So that was a f***ing lie. Now, Kratos knew he was lying, and he was thinking, I'm about to end this man's whole career. But instead, we ate. Now we're talking about going to Alfheim, and how I couldn't wait to not go there. Aw oh, crap, we're there, aren't we? Sh I walked around for a bit, and also noticed that there's literally nothing that looked the same. Not even the pots. Like, can't believe they're real. But you don't believe in any of it! Find your tongue, boy! So I was about to grab my belt of chaos, but then enemies showed up. They were pretty easy, and I wasn't stuck on them for three hours. So that was nice. Now me and the boys walked up to the door and we got the combination wrong. But then I said the magic words and it opened. Bam, oh, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! Now after going into the temple, I broke some pots, broke some bones, then broke some more bones, and then I got to the hardest part of the challenge yet. Now I'm not gonna lie, I spent three days trying to get past this part and every time I died, I was on the edge of throwing myself out a window. But luckily I got past it. And I said the perfect line too. Whoever dies first is gay. Ha! Gay! Now right after I solved a couple of puzzles, Kratos got puzzled by the light. But then we made it to Groa's shrine. Okay. Now while we were in here, we discovered that Groa deceived Odin, and I for one found that very interesting. So after leaving the shrine, we came across even more enemies, but to my surprise, they're actually harder than the boss fight. So this fight was pretty much the same as usual. I dodge, I hit. I die and do it all over again for the next 10 minutes. But I didn't die loads of times, so you can suck it, boss. Now we started making our way back to the exit and we encountered tons of enemies. I'm pretty sure you can guess how this went. Ooh. So when we got home, I just still didn't like what Trey said earlier, so I ended up saying this to him. I don't get why he's upset. So Atreus went to his room and he decided to rage quit from consciousness and he magically got teleported inside a sandbox that has a little version of him walking around. Eh, it doesn't matter. Now we walked around for a little bit, got stabbed by myself, and then woke up in a magical forest. So I was talking to some wolves about how I like the taste of dog biscuits and then we came across a painting. Oh, hi Mark. <laughs> oh, it's just Anger Boda. Now she told us that if we kept pointing our knife at her, she'll break our fingers and I didn't want that. Now for this section I was mainly doing chores, but sometimes I would come across some enemies which I dealt with. So since there's nothing really that sticks out, let's just talk about the giant lady. So for her, I wasn't able to beat her fist only, or should I say bow only, since I had to hit her pot and I could only reach her ankles. So sadly this is the part of the challenge that I failed. But hey, at least it wasn't a skill issue. So after that fight, we somehow pulled the pot away from her. Doesn't really make sense, we only weigh like 2 pounds compared to her. 
And then me and Angry Boda went for a little race. And Atreus lost. Man, you really suck. Now in Atreus' disappointed state, he went to sleep and he teleported home. Well, to the wrong home. And we got attacked by a lot of enemies. And they were nothing less than a pain in my rectum. But I got past them. Now, we got attacked by Freya, I mean, Vanadis, and I completely beat the living dog crap out of her. I did die like one or two times, and then I- BORING! Yeah, this was lots of the same stuff. And then we went to a new realm again. So, this place has lots of fast boys, dogs, and these flippin' things. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f- Now, right after I came across all that stuff, I encountered an ancient. And I don't know if you know what I know, but these guys are literally unable to eat my knuckle sandwiches, which meant, yep, you guessed it, I had to use my axe. So right after that fail, I came across some more dogs, and these guys were such a pain that this section felt like a firework that just directly blew up in my face. So did I rage quit a lot of times from this section, and proceed to stand up, go downstairs and punch our punching bag as hard as I could cutting my knuckles? No, definitely not. But I did get past this section. Now we went forward through a wall, I came across some more enemies that would proceed to drop me tons of times. Now, I was still fuming from the last fight, so I had a very short temper at this point, so when I got past this, I was super happy. Until, two seconds later when I got trapped in this section, that I was stuck in for two days. Now, this section was so difficult and aggravating that I'm getting angry just typing the script, so I'm gonna tell you the strategy that I used. So the strategy that I used was just to throw all of them into the crash pit when I got my rage mode so I wasn't getting jumped by seven people at once. And that eventually worked. Now thankfully, the rest of this run was pretty easy up until the boss fight, who was still easier than that other part. Now this guy was super easy in terms of dying, but he was super time consuming. So I'd be doing good for like 30 minutes, and I'd get hit and die, and have to redo the entire thing. But I eventually got him, and got rid of both his headache and mine. Oh. Now Freya said that she can't forgive me, or forget what I did, or she can't like me or hate me. Women. <laughs> <laughs> so then we shook hands, and then we started going on our merry way. And now, I can control her. You thought I was gonna say it again, didn't you? Well, you were right. Women. <laughs> <laughs> now we go to a base and Freya talks to her brother, but I think the more important thing that happened is what Brock did. Not you. What the heck? Well, he is blue. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, since I felt like this challenge is way too hard, I did something that would make it way easier. Went out in the search for armor. Now, the armor that I was looking for was Lunda's last armor. And the reason why I wanted it so badly is because it gives me a buff to melee attacks. So once I got that, I was very happy. So I went home and... Oh, it's one of these moments again. Now, Atreus was wondering why I don't trust him when he lies to me all the time, and I just told him that he answered his own question. Now, he didn't like that, so he proceeded to cry and run out the door like a little girl. So now we're playing as a Trace, and surprise surprise he's talking to himself about how his dad's in the wrong for not trusting him when he lies. Are you serious right now, bro? Now, we went over to Freya's house and teleported to Asgard while getting a close-up of Trace's stupid effing face. And then we started making our way over to Odin, for some reason. Now, everything here was somehow extremely easy, so let's just kind of gloss over everything that happened. So first we met a guy, I hated him. Then we climbed a wall, met Heimdall, fought Heimdall, or at least I tried to fight him. Met Thor's daughter, then we went on a mission with Thor. Now if you wonder why I stopped speeding through everything like a race car, it's because this part was very, very, very difficult. And I'll tell you why. Now this part just had a ton of guys that were going all over the place, and then after you already got in your butt whooped and your face rubbed into the ground, you'd have two trolls that just run around throwing rocks at you and swinging all over the place. So this was very difficult, but then I beat it. So yeah, I'm amazing. Now we got a mask piece, gave it to Odin, then swapped back over to Kratos. Now as Kratos, we were searching for the Sisters of Fate, oh, wait, no, that's the other game. We're searching for the Norns. So we went to Midgard, and we started making our way to him. Now I decided to make a bad choice, so I went over and tried fighting that Draugr boss. Now this guy killed me tons of times, and I'm ashamed to say it, but I gave up and continued my mission. Now we went to multiple areas that tortured me, and then we found a horse. I hated it, but I had to use it to get to the Norns. Now I was going to go to the Norns on the horse, but then I remembered that I had to end the video up here. So guys, I would really like to keep this video going, but I don't need this to be an hour and a half long and to have it tank my watch time making this video get no views. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, because it'll help out the video a lot. And also, it's going to make me a lot more motivated for my next video. Just saying. So guys, that's all I got for you today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya! Yeah!